Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to part two for the week of April 11th. This is part one. And if you haven't watched part one yet, it is linked up in the description down below. So we're just going to jump right in here, Gemini. Um, with that Ascendant card, you have this Palace Athena card. And this card just says, think on it. <laughs> so I think it's time to think. I feel like you've been doing a lot of thinking in general. And, you know, with that Six of Swords, we were kind of talking about being stuck in the mud in your first reading. And I, that's kind of like what I feel for you is like it's saying the time for thinking is over to wants your outcome card, basically. And I feel like it's time for you to get moving forward. With the uh, Temperance card, the Fool, the Temperance card literally says you've been patient enough. The Fool says it is time for you to uh, take a leap of faith. So I feel it is time for you to take a leap of faith towards some sort of new beginning. With the Six of Swords, you have the Emperor. You always get the Emperor in, um, in your readings. For some of you, it could be in Aries if you're looking for love. But again, for most of you, I feel like this is talking about action. Normally on the Emperor, you can see he has like armor on his legs and it says that he is always ready for action at a moment's notice. So it's kind of like a card of being ready to take action on something. And I feel like you just need to be ready to take action on a new opportunity that is coming your way, uh, especially with that Ace of Pentacles. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a card of your emotions, number one. And I feel like you've been getting a lot of these cards, Gemini. The King of Cups, he has very deep emotions. He really, you know, kind of is normally sitting in the middle of the ocean. There are choppy waters all around him and he doesn't really care. Um, he's perfectly fine. <laughs> so it's kind of a card of, like, that says he is the master of controlling his emotions. And I kind of get that feeling for you here where kind of like controlling your emotions or learning how to use your emotions in a positive way would be very beneficial for you. Um, with that moth spirit, you have this elephant spirit says, learn from the past. Again, wasn't your, um, no, no. But um, I, I, I'm thinking of a I'm thinking of another sign that I read for, but it is weird to me that every single sign that I've read for today has had something about learning from the past or kind of looking at the past that doesn't, there's a difference between living in the past and learning from the past, right? So you know, whenever I get these cards, someone always comments that they only live in the present. I'm like, great, good for you. You know, go you know, live on a park bench with Eckhart Tolle, right? Who's just blissed out all the time. Amazing. Most people aren't like that. But what I would say, is that's not what this card is talking about. It's not saying be present, be like Edgar Toll, which I'm a big fan of, by the way. So, you know, go for it is what I'd say. But it's about kind of learning from the past, learning from mistakes that you've made in the past or the things that you've done. And that's what I feel like, um, you know, again, like I said, every single sign this week has had this card, or not this card, but has had some card that says learn from the past. And I just feel like we just need, you know, just something to pay attention to, right? With the Five of Swords, you have the Strength card. Uh, strength card is a card of patience. You have a lot of cards of patience here uh, right next to each other. Temperance and the Strength card. Strength is like a daily practice. I do feel that's super important at this time for whatever reason. We really can't rest on our laurels any longer. <laughs> you know, I think part of the problem that I feel is that I don't think it's a problem necessarily. I think it's kind of a good thing because I think we'll always be in creative mode. But, you know, it's like we can't just... Um, I think gone are the days where you can build something up and just walk away and leave it and it will be successful, like a business or a relationship or whatever. You know, the energy is speeding up. What that means is we have to keep, you know, progressing and moving with the energy. So I feel like if you're working on a relationship, for example, if you stop working on it, it's going to fail. If you keep working on it, it's going to be successful. Same thing with a business or a career or whatever. It's like if you stop working on it, it's not going to work. Like if I stopped doing you videos on YouTube, I would fail, right? Pretty obvious. So... I kind of feel like this is talking about a daily practice and making sure you're keeping up with the things that you want to improve in your life, that you want to, you know, see be successful in your life, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I would just keep doing those things. With the four wands, you have the four pentacles. Four pentacles is like a card of being stuck in the past. And it's also a card that says like, you know, to let go of the past really and to open up to new opportunities. Funny enough, it's kind of like a another card of like a foundation or building a solid foundation which we were talking about with that four pentacles. Again, learn from the past, but don't stay stuck in the past. You know, I've said this a bunch, but I look at the King of Pentacles as a dinosaur. I don't hate the King of Pentacles, but at the same time, he sometimes reminds me of that energy of doing things exactly the same always for the past hundred years, like a dinosaur, right? And so I always say with the King of Pentacles, 
do what works, right? In business, in love, in work, all areas of your life. Do the things that work, but try to innovate because he can be a little bit stuck and he can just do what works, but he doesn't think about the fact that things don't always stay the same. Things don't always work the way they used to, right? And I feel like that's what this whole learn from the past four pentacles, king of pentacles is saying. It's okay to do what works, but make sure you're upgrading it for the times. Make sure you're trying new things. Ace of pentacles, you have the knight of cups. Knight of cups is like a knight in shining armor. So again, if you're looking for love, there definitely could be a solid love connection coming in for you here. It could be any sign. You basically have every single sign here at this point, or every single element, I should say. The Nine of Cups is also a card of your dreams. He's normally dreaming of his future life. He's dreaming of the things that he wants to manifest or create in his life, and uh, he just needs to start working towards them. He's kind of like a card of planting seeds because normally he has water in front of him, but he's standing in the desert, and it kind of says, like, plant your seeds because even though you're in the desert, there's water right in front of you. Uh, with the table and the caterpillar, you have this vulture card. It says depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. No gossip this year. No worrying about people. Uh, you have this handshake card. It says a meeting with a stranger could be important. So you could be meeting a new person here, but I would be careful of the whole gossip thing. I feel like I say this to you all the time, Gemini. It's an energy that comes up for you quite a bit. So I'd be careful of that. But I would also be looking to connect with people who uh, can help you. So, you know, there you go. Uh, with the two wands, you have the um, page of pentacles, new beginning for sure. You know, again, the two wands, I feel like it's saying get out into the new world or, you know, get out and create something new. Page of Pentacles is literally something new coming in for you. I do feel that there could be like a person who opens your eyes to a new opportunity. Again, another very common energy right now. Why? The, the answer is we're entering into this time of Aquarius. We have all this energy moving through Aquarius. We have heavy planets. Pluto will be moving into Aquarius uh, sooner rather than later, right? It's still going to take a little bit of time, but it'll be entering in there. So we have heavy energy in there. And the thing about Aquarius is it's the star, right? And so it's like inspirational or things that could be inspiring to us. So since we're entering into this time of Aquarius, what do we need to pay attention to? Inspiration, things that we get excited about, things where we say, oh my God, I can do that, right? <laughs> and so that's why this energy keeps coming up. People keep saying, all your readings are the same. I'm like, yeah, look at, look at the astrology. Literally all the planets are in like one part of the sky. Why do you think all the readings are the same? That's why, because the energy is the same. And again, it's important that we pay attention to this because again, it's just inspiration. The problem with inspiration is you could look at an opportunity and say, that's great, I wanna do that, I'm inspired to do it, but then you actually have to do it, right? So pay attention to these things that you are inspired to do. It is all that Aquarius energy inspiring you to action. If you do it, you'll be probably you know more successful than ever. I keep talking about this, how you know I believe personally, Everybody always talks about the 1% as far as the wealthy are concerned. I, I think that eventually what's gonna happen is we're gonna see the 60%. It's gonna be like 60, 40. There are always gonna be people who you know, wanna live in the woods. There's always gonna be homeless people and things like that. That doesn't mean we shouldn't help those people, by the way, but you know, the, it's always gonna happen. There's always gonna, you know, it's always gonna exist, but I think there's gonna be more fairness as far as wealth and inequality is concerned, right? So it's gonna be more like 60, 40. It's gonna get better, which is definitely an improvement. Um, but again, it's because of all this inspirational energy that's coming in, right? So part of that is, you know, as I say to everybody else, you also have to become an inspiration. You have to take advantage of the inspirations that come into your life and be an inspiration for other people so that we can get closer to that like 60, 40, whatever you want to call it. it might be better than that. I don't know. With the uh, Three of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Swords, definitely a victory coming in for you. I feel like you're starting to live your truth. Like, you're starting to live the life that you actually want to live. So, <laughs> you know, I feel like that's it. That's all I get here is the truth. And I feel like it's your own inner truth. With the King of Pentacles, you have the uh, High Priestess. So definitely time to trust your intuition. Everybody's been getting the High Priestess. Uh, we have Neptune and Pisces. And so I just feel that it's a very intuitive time. I feel like pretty much all of us could be getting intuitive messages, intuitive hits. We could be, you know, having intuitive dreams, whatever you want to call it. And I would just pay attention to those things. Uh, I want to get like a final outcome here. I'm just a little bit nosy here, Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius, oh my God, Gemini. I was talking about Aquarius, so that's why I said uh, Aquarius. But Gemini, I want to see uh, what is your final outcome here. Uh, top row outcome, uh, speaking of Aquarius, you have the magician. <laughs> so uh, Gemini, you are creating your own reality at this time. Be very careful with your words. Neptune and Pisces is manifestation on steroids. I keep telling people, be careful with your words because you're gonna be manifesting things very, very quickly. 
and that is definitely the magician. Definitely in a new beginning coming in for you. Middle row, nine of cups, make a wish. I feel there is definitely a wish coming in for you or wish fulfillment coming in for you. I also just get like a lot of enjoyment. I feel like you need to do things that you enjoy more as well with this energy. I always say that the nine of cups is about bathing in energy. If you want love, then you have to experience love, but it's like you can't just go start loving on people at the store, right? You're gonna get arrested. So you have to do things that you love to attract love into your life. It's like you step into the energy without actually stepping into the energy. If you want money, go be around wealth, right? Or do something that makes you feel abundant. We have to kind of do things that are related to it. And that's what I feel like you need to do with the Nine of Cups. This has been coming up a lot. And again, we're getting towards the end, the last couple of years here uh, of Neptune and Pisces, which I think are gonna be super powerful. I don't know because last time Neptune was in Pisces, I was, uh, I, I don't even know, not even close to being alive. It was like hundreds of years ago, right? So like 200 years ago or something like that. So what I would say here is that I really believe the end is gonna be very powerful and we really have to kind of like bathe in the energy that we desire and want. And boom, are you kidding me? This will be your outcome, 10 of Pentacles. <laughs> 10 of Pentacles is everything you want in your life. 10 of Pentacles is normally the tree of life. And I feel that there's a lot of abundance. Someone said there's only nine Pentacles on this card. There's actually two Pentacles right here at the middle. This also represents a 10, the X right there. So for the person that thinks I can't count, there you go. But what I would say is that I feel like there is a lot of abundance a lot of success coming in for you. I wanna see what this card is. You have this armadillo spirit, it says set healthy boundaries. Uh, I feel like the this is more about exploring boundaries for you is what I would say. <laughs> so I feel like you need to explore boundaries. Two of Wands is kind of like a card of, you know, it reminds me, there's another deck I have, uh, the Tarot of the Wild Unknown Animal Oracle deck, and there's an octopus card in there. And it's kind of about like feeling around and figuring out what your boundaries are. I get more of that feeling going on here, but. I would definitely make a wish. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Really, really good. So uh, thank you for being here, Gemini. I really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.